secret is that I am quite fond of women's magazines. Um, and I like to say that I read them ironically, but <laughs> uh, probably lie. Um, but they do make really good inspiration for poems. So this poem is based on those lists in women's magazines that tell you 10 ways to please your man, 100 ways to please your man, 1,000 ways to please your man. So this poem is called Seven Ways to Please Your Man. <laughs> One. Film yourself doing something really naughty, like stealing your neighbour's newspaper off their front porch, <laughs> taking stationery from the office supplies cupboard, or shoplifting spanners from being cute. Your man loves it when you don't pay for your tools. You naughty girl. Two. Show him you are adventurous. Run out into oncoming traffic. Set up an amateur knife juggling club at your local further education college. Disappear for weeks on end without telling anyone where you are. Taunt a rabid dog. <laughs> your man won't be able to resist your devil may care attitude. Three, dress up for him. Try something a bit different and consider impersonating Franz Ferdinand Karl Ludwig Joseph Maria, <laughs> the Archduke of Austria and Royal Prince of Hungary and Bohemia, whose assassination in 1914 led to the outbreak of the First World War. After all, men love powerful women. <laughs> and the false moustache will bring some extra sensory pleasure to the bedroom too. <laughs> Four, talk dirty to him. Tell him there are over a hundred million microbes on your toothbrush. <laughs> and even more on the underside of your feet. Tell him that over 2.3 million people don't have access to a flushing toilet and even if they did, over 3 million bacteria per square inch lurk in the average toilet bowl. <laughs> Tell him you think he's sexy despite the fact that his body has 39 trillion bacteria on it at any one time. <laughs> Men love receiving compliments. <laughs> Five, use your hand. Have a go at shadow puppetry. <laughs> Popular shadows include the duck, the dog, and the butterfly. But if you want to get really kinky, why not try the robust alligator, the reluctant axolotl, or the engorged badger? <laughs> Trust me, your man will thank you for it. Six, try a new position. Consider becoming a communist. <laughs> you can examine capitalism through a paradigm of exploitation and theorise that class conflict primarily arises from the fundamental imbalance between the proletariat and the bourgeoisie. After all, it pays to be open-minded when it comes to pleasing your man. And when you seize the means of production, he will give you anything you want. <laughs> Seven, try new things. Never repeat yourself, never repeat yourself, never repeat yourself. <laughs> Live up to unrealistic standards of heteronormative sexuality. Read lists in shitty magazines and follow them as if they were gospel. Try new things, never repeat yourself. Or you could just ask him what he likes. <laughs> Fuck. So 